From the creators of well-balanced, family-friendly heroes comes a hero that will prove to you that hips don't lie. One lady that can beat every man in a staring contest and lives by that old game rule that the less clothing you have, the tankier you get. My name is Shinmin Takizo and this is Esmeralda, the sexy shield lady in Ultra Fast Speed Guide. Ah, <gasps> the stars are my beacon! Get ready to get a big boobs, I mean boost, in your win rate by repeatedly spamming skill 1 and skill 2. Unleash the ultimate bitch slappery on your enemies by poking their eyes out with the latest fashion trend. And watch as your enemies cry as they hopelessly try to kill you, but end up doing the opposite. It's just opposite day! Esmeralda's passive is called I have seen enough hentai to know where this is going, where she summons her tentacle-like fashion accessories to go Tokyo Ghoul on her enemies. Each basic attack deals damage twice in both physical and magical damage. Any magic damage enemy heroes take from Esmeralda gives them a shield. A shield that is completely useless when going against Esmeralda since all her damage goes through any kind of shield. Additionally, this passive also gives Esmeralda the ability to slowly convert any shield she has into HP. Esmeralda's skill 1 is called Anti-Copyright Infringement Protection, where Esmeralda wraps herself in an impenetrable shield that blocks any copyright lawsuits. Because she isn't really just a fusion of two Disney characters, right? You speak of justice, yet you are cruel to those most in need of your help. Silence! Justice! On top of that, this protection also acts as an anti-pervert shield around her body. It can absorb any kind of damage and prevents any haters from damaging her HP. She also gains a movement speed boost allowing her to keep her distance from any nearby molesters. While skill 1 is active, Esmeralda automatically sucks dry the shields of any nearby enemies. This act of sucking transfers the shield to her allowing her to gain the thickest shield the world has ever seen. Any kind of enemy shield is Esmeralda's shield. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Esmeralda's skill too is her double scarf bitch slap, where she turns around in a 360 motion slapping all nearby bitches with her weaponized fabrics dealing both physical and magic damage. Her passive applies on this skill as well where she gives enemy shield, but skill 2 damage also goes through the shield. Hitting any fools with your roundhouse cloth slap will also reduce the cooldown of your skill 1 by 1 second, so you can use it to take back any shield you've given your enemies, effectively giving them deep-rooted trust issues. Esmeralda skill 3 or ultimate is called Spirit Sex Bomb. Holding down the skill gathers all the spirits in the world in a giant orb of sexiness above your head. Aim and release to have her throw all that sexy energy to enemies followed by a superhero landing. The longer you hold down this skill, the stronger the spirit sex bomb damage is gonna be. Just make sure you don't hold it down for 7 episodes. Seriously, what, what is this all about? Are you trying to tell me you once caught a fish that big? This display of awesome bombastic move also deals both physical and magic damage. Aside from getting wrecked by her super move, enemies affected are mesmerized by her and are stunned for 1.2 seconds, allowing for more time to smack them crazy and absorb them shields. Now that you know the basics of this Disney warrior princess, it is time to master her further with these tips and tricks. When engaging or fighting any kind of enemy, press skill 1 to put up your shield and immediately slap any nearby fools with your skill 2. This way, you immediately lower the cooldown of your skill 1 so you can reuse it earlier for more shields. An ally has been slain. Yeah. An ally has yeah. been slain. Killing spree! Double kill! An enemy has been slain! 
Enemy double kill. Yeah. Triple kill. Yeah. Maniac. Make sure you keep an eye on your cooldown so you can press them skills as soon as they're up. Keep on auto attacking your enemies while your skills are down so you can damage your enemies and give them more shield and that means more shield for Esmeralda to absorb. When you have enough cooldown will result in a ridiculous godlike shield stacking. Four emblems get the magic emblem set and set it up like this. It gives you the movement speed that Esmeralda needs to keep her enemies in range, the magic penetration so you can give your enemies more shield, and burn your enemies down with the arsonist second talent. The burning effect goes through shields as it is considered a damage coming from Esmeralda. Legendary. The only battle spell a true gypsy from Notre Dame will take is Purify. So you can purify yourself from all the evil stunts and slows the enemies throw at you. For equipment builds, this is the way to go. Demon boots to never run out of mana. Buy this hook weapon from Ruby so you can strengthen your basic attacks with true damage. Feather of Kaja for faster attack speed. The faster you attack, the more damage you deal and the more shield you give your enemies that you can steal. Then wrap it up with Oracle for thicker shields and a bit of tankiness. Concentrated energy for that spell vamp and immortality so you can pretend that you can still die late game while using this super balanced hero. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about her shield? Level. It's over 9000. At the start of the game, skip jungle snipe and proceed to just buy off anything you see pop up on the upper right. Take either skill 1 or skill 2 at hero level 1 if you want damage or survivability, but prioritize in maxing skill 2, take skill 3 when available, and max skill 1 last. Head to the side lane and insist on going solo like a true independent weapon. Defend your lane by ignoring enemy heroes and focusing on clearing up minions. Proceed in taking jungle monsters and maybe helping out with the crab. Continue this pattern and maybe go behind enemy towers to clear minions in advance. When you reach level 4 and get your ultimate, it is time to do what every hero ever in Mobile Legends should do. Wait in a bush, jump onto your enemies with your ult, then spam all your other skills like crazy while auto attacking. With your ultimate having low cooldown and the shield that you get from your skill 1 from enemies, do not be afraid to dive towers and take a few hits. Keep setting up your booby traps by using your ultimate from bushes. Do not forget to use purify if you find yourself getting stunned or bouncing off thick spinning summer pandas. When pushing towers with your team, prepare your ultimate by holding it down and aim at the back of the enemy tower. If any enemy shows up to defend their tower, release and spam your skill 1 and skill 2. Like it's super complicated, then get out of tower range. You can effectively tank lords and turtles if you alternate between your skill 1 and skill 2. Do not be afraid to take damage during teamfights as long as you can hit your enemies with your skill 2 and basic attacks. Make it a point that you always press your skill 1 when it's not on cooldown and you'll win any battle even if the odds are against you. Keep dancing around the battlefield while smacking your enemies left and right. Show them the true meaning of fear and helplessness as you turn every team fight into a Dark Souls boss fight with you as the imbalanced final boss. And always remember, the thicker the thighs, the sweeter the prize. And I have no idea what that means. My name is Shinman Takizo and this is Esmeralda, an ultra fast speed guide. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. God damn it. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Pero no más. Más. Más.
Mm. <laughs>